name's Ash Legend here, and today we are going to be doing another Roblox battle with T-List, but instead of on solo, so this is on squad. So that means that kids that are like mainly used for like, like, like more people to like more than one people are on here now, like Melody and etc. etc. Okay, so let's start by with the first one. Airy, um, if you're like really tanky, like you got like diamond arm and everyone else got like leather arm and you can have like consistent heals or like something, then this kit's pretty decent. Otherwise, it's not that too good. You need to be like really tanky to be good with Airy and squad, so but still it's solid in general, so it's probably yes. Actually, little Amy, since she can help out her teammates and stuff, it's not too bad. However, and also, uh, but the first. Two are the greatest of the two, or like not that good. The only one that's not really worth it is like the health regen, but that thing's like six emeralds, so it's not even worth the price. But um, if there was reduced by like an emerald or two, then I would consider it, but yeah. So in, so in general, probably a B tier, and also, but then again, someone can just get like leather on, leather on and possibly a max you, so yeah. Archer, um, if you're using the kit skin with this and you're trying to get the, the tactical crossbow thingy, uh, you're not gonna get it, cause once people see an archer at mid, oh my, you're gonna be once to dead or alive, you're gonna be like, you're gonna have like a 10,000 emerald posted dead at once to dead or alive, reward 10 million emeralds, so yeah. But if you're not using it, it's, the bow is pretty solid, especially with enchants, so B. Next up we have Aries. Hmm, not Aries, Aries. Um, if, if the team, the enemy team is just sitting in the gen, then yeah, this is gonna just wipe them out. But if they're like separate, pretty separate, then uh, it's not gonna be that good against them. But anyways, it's solid A. Hmm, Baker, Baker, Baker. His did get buffed. His speed party is now last up to two minutes, so it's one twenty seconds. So it's pretty solid. I put uh, it doesn't. Hmm. Uh, I'd say should I put him above Axelon? Hmm. He did get buffed, and the speed parties are pretty goaded, so I'll take that extra thirty seconds. Ooh, barbarian! If you just, like have melody on your team with barbarian, you know you're getting that rage blade easily, and with like enchants and stuff, because no one really gets enchants in solos. But if you do get enchants, this uh, rage blade is pretty goaded. So um, I would. And there's lots of methods you can use to get towards your rage blade. So I'd say like low C tier. I just can't really put in low C tier because I have to put other kits in here. Beekeeper Beatrix, you can't really do the gen split with the Beekeeper Beatrix anymore, but it's still pretty good. But since there's a lot of people in, so, in squads, uh, you're probably going to get targeted. So you, once people see the uh, uh, thingy out with the Beekeeper thing, they're probably not going to let you get the beehive thingies. But yeah, if you can't get them, then you're going to be chilling like a villain. So, see. Bounty Hunter is not that. No one's just gonna give out free kills in, so, in squads, unless they're not really that sweaty, because otherwise, it's probably, yeah. Also, so they're probably gonna be around the team if they're like babies, and since since people, a lot of people rely on squads to get carried, uh, yeah. So next up is Alchemist. Just I don't really need to explain. Oh, now Final Clay is good. I would say above Barbarian. Uh, so probably about Bounty Hunter, and Bounty Hunter, uh, it takes a lot of stuff to get farm started, and if even the team is feeding you, um, someone's just giving out max everyone, and just break your bed and you'll lose. Conquer is free this week, so if you, so if you like free, if you're a free to play player, um, Conquer, um, is free, but it got, it got nerfed, so yeah. But I'd say it's still okay, to be honest, so I'd probably put it, uh, hmm, early game, it's, and if you have, like, snowballs, or, like, just, like, a crossbow, and you're using fire banners, and all you guys are, like, rushing, it's pretty good, so, I'd say above Axolotl Amy, hmm. Next up, we have Cracker Wolf. 
No one uses this anymore, and also the man, like pressing people. Also, they might not like wake your bed, just and just wait until you're dead to not trigger their abilities. So it might give you time for your team to uh like kill them, um, so they can't. So this is and no one really uses it anymore, so they might have forgotten or something. So I'd probably put it above Bounty Hunter, but not above B Keeper B Tricks. Okay, this is where Cyber is good because and um, people are probably gonna be hog people aren't that sweaty in regular squads if you get like lucky with the matches and they won't I mean early the game they'll probably get diamonds but the rest of the game they might not really so you probably get fast tier three gen if you have a cyber on your team so I would say it's probably in low A tier. Pyro Davy did get buffed because you spawn with the TNT, that will be very helpful. But combined with the jetpack thingy, the rocket belt, it's pretty good. Alright guys, I am back. So next up we have Metal Detector. Now this did get, did get nerfed. However, if you're lucky and you do get diamonds, it is okay. So it's good enough to stay in... And the melt the thing never cost you anything and stuff, so it's still okay, but it didn't know for the heck again. So yeah, I guess it can stay in just if it did not like twenty percent more instead of fifteen percent more then it would probably go to the high C T but I'll stay in here for now, but we'll see what happens. Next up we have Dino Tamer Don. Now this dude did get buff, so um and the dinos are pretty epic, and builders, um, blast, that were blast proof at defenses, um, aren't blast proof anymore, so, uh, this thing's a solid B plus tier. Elm trees is pretty garbage. If you guys are rushing, maybe, but otherwise, it's kind of just D plus. Ember, ooh, with life still, it's okay, but not as good as it would be in 3030s. So, um, I would say this, but it's still okay, so I'd say this goes in, and uh, that's, mm, that, that seems accurate to me. Fisherman is very, is pretty good, and also you can get blocks for your bed defense and stuff, so this thing's pretty good in general, so it'll probably go right here. That seems good enough to me. Actually, I don't know, this rod doesn't cost, does cost you, so... Mm, I'll put it below Baker, that seems accurate. Yeah, no one really uses Fisherman anymore because Metal and Cyber came into the game. But, yeah, so, but since Metal gets nerfed, got nerfed a lot, um, um, Fisherman's now in, back into play. Next up we have Fry. The Ice Sword is pretty devastating, so if you do get a hand on Ice Sword, you can probably handle, multi if you're tanky enough, you can probably be like 1v plus 1, 1v1 pluses, which means like more 1v more than one person, so I'd say this belongs. That and the solid, eh, I'll put it above melted. Eh, it's a bit, and it kind of only helps yourself, so yeah. Alright, next up, we, okay, <laughs> okay, fine, I'll move on to, I'll explain why I need, I'll, I put Frost in here, but do I really even need to explain why? The reason this thing sucks so much is the only reason people use him is for the slowness, since he, he doesn't have that anymore, because that got removed in season 4, he's jack crap now, so yeah. Next up we have gun drop man now. This one can help all your teammates. So you guys can so if it's a 4v4 you guys pro and you guys have equal gear, you'll probably win. So I'll just put a extreme low C tier, but people can use it, so that's what kind of sets. Since people can use it, I'm probably not to put in high D tier, so sorry, gingerbread man. Okay, now we have Gompy. This thing can only be used on one person, but it, it really like just wipes one person out of the play, especially if they like need the void because just yeah. So I'll probably put it like in uh, Ben Fryer, yeah. All right, we have Jack. Now this one's okay because since a lot of people in squads camp the gen, now this thing can be decent. So I'll put it above that. So you're lucky, Jack. 
team is not that good because I know you can use knockback, but if the team isn't like glued together, it's not going to be that good. And also, it's not it's a, not a skill based kit. Now that does make it like kind of move up range, but then again, it doesn't because nothing you can do to make it better really. So I'll probably just put it. Better than Beekeeper Beatrix. And this one's not, as, it doesn't help all your teammates, so I'll say that that way. Now, since there's a lot of rushes, and, it, and they're probably going to be used your jade or something, last year will help a ton. So I'd say this thing would go probably above. Is it above Croc Wolf? Hmm. Hmm. Tough decision. Uh, no one really uses this, and people use it a lot, so yeah. And people rush sometimes in squads quite a bit, so yeah. Lumen, just crappy as usual. And also, since there's a lot of people, if you're getting rushed by a lot of people, then you, then you can't really use this all on one person, so it's just gonna be like C minus. Hmm. Next up, we have Melody. Now, compared with certain kits like Airy and like Barbarian, this thing's a nightmare. So, uh, I'd say, in general, it does help your teammates a lot when you guys, when the whole team is fighting a whole other team. So, uh, and also the support and helps other people. So, it'll probably go above Beekeeper Beatrix. Next up, we have Magic Marco. This thing's pretty crappy. All you guys like, a few, like 10% extra resources, which is not that good in general. So, yeah. Mine, then no one's gonna give out free kills. You know, also, the kill. Also, it takes a while to get your yeah, thing. The mind people statues when you kill people. So, yeah. And perhaps someone will probably just, like, kill you and take your loot or something. So, I'll probably put this thing. I'll put it above them. We haven't seen any minus lately. Yeah, this used to be a kid that was used a lot, but now no one really uses it. Nynx is pretty good. If you're tanking off, this thing can like absolutely wipe teams. So, uh, low A tier. Pyro, or this thing melts, especially with life steal. That thing devastates. Oh, this one also is pretty good, Raven, because, like, you can't really miss with it. Someone's attacking you, just, like, pop, just, like, pop in, and you can just start running in the other direction, or, like, use a teleportal or something. And also, if the t whole team's camping the gen, it's a good way to get them low, so, yeah. Also, if they have TSC, which some, a lot of people will might have, and, like, t and, like, squads, especially if they have, like, a cyber or, like, a resource gathering kit, if you have plunder, oh, dang, oh, you're gonna do some damage. <laughs> okay, Grim Reaper is okay for tanking, but not too good, and I'll put it above Dino, I guess. Hmm. <clears throat> Lord Region is Jade on steroids. Also, it can help you. Also, if you have Light Steel, it can help quite a bit. So, I'll put it above Beekeeper Beatrix. Santa, just use, just use TNT. Do not use this thing. Yeah, it's just, this thing sucks. She put is okay, but it only helps yourself. And you'll probably get once people see that you're gathering seed, they'll probably just kill you and make you lose your sheep. And it's not that much damage, it's kind of just like a Walmart area. So, um, probably, yeah, yep. Let's see, Infernal Shield, if they have, is there like an archer, an arch and so archer's free this weekend, and there's like a Vanessa on the team, and since like people can feed a lot in, in like squads, then they'll probably see people like feeding a Vanessa or like an archer or something, so this thing will probably go low C tier. You know, just for the sake, I'll put it above Lumen. <laughs> Smoke is just garbo. And the story. This um Spirit Cats is pretty good at defending beds. So I would say that she would um let's see. 
Hmm, I'd say like high B tier. Since the the streets cost a lot of the game, but if you get enchantments and stuff, they are devastating. Star Collector Cell this is a team kit, so this is probably lowest tier. So yeah, Trapper, and he's why I like iron to trap people. So uh, probably E tier. So sorry, but uh, again, if you know how to use it right, it's pretty good and stuff. So. Yeah, Vanessa I can kinda defend, so uh it's not totally useless. It's just it's, I'll put it it's just annoying overall, so yeah. Vulcan can also kinda defend, but you, you don't you can't really die to it and also you can just get five ball ball or just mine it and like get a teleport and mine it. Stand on top of it or something, so I'll probably put this just like and also they cost a lot and emeralds and people will probably try and get that diamond sword so yeah and the warrior especially the cheap armor can collect because like if your team's dressing you need iron desperately to get some, an upgrade for yourself uh, this is probably going to be the go-to best so i'll put it right here no one really uses it anymore and people will probably just rest you early and stuff so yeah, and also it takes time to mine through the bed defense and stuff when it's Yeti. It won't take very long, like, at all and stuff, but still. Like, when people hear the Yeti roar, they're all going to come and try and kill you once you get near bed defense, so. I will probably put this, uh, like, let's see. This is bad kits to use, especially since the dino got buff, so I'll probably put it, like, I'll put it above Pirate Davy and Mighty Marco. No, it's not better than Mighty Marco, so I'll put it right there. You see, it's not as a. It's again, this is, um, squads is like a team's game where you need, everyone needs to rely on each other. Your whole team does, so. And you see, that's when really do that and also costs more. So this is, you're gonna, you're not gonna do very good. So I'd say this goes, um. Probably. Hmm. I'll put this B minus. And if you like running, if you like breaking someone's bed, it's good for running away with. So yeah, hmm, Z for this thing is very good for tanking. So I'll put it above, put it above side, but it's kind of a support kit. Uh, it's not, it doesn't support the whole team, but there we go. So that's about my ranking of kits and squads and Roblox Red Wars. What do you guys think about my ranking? Comment down below to tell me what you think of this and comment and see what you think could be better. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like and subscribe button, turn on notifications. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good rest of your summer. Goodbye.